In this video I'll show you how to install the latest version of OpenOffice in Backtrack 4. To begin with we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to go ahead and start our networking service if you don't already have it started. So I'm going to type in the forward slash etsy forward slash net dot d forward slash networking and space start. This is going to go ahead and start our network interfaces for us. Alright, now that you're back to the terminal, we're going to go ahead now and open up our browser. We're going to go ahead and navigate to openoffice.org. So we'll go ahead and type in openoffice.org. And when the page loads, we're going to now go ahead and click on I want to download openoffice.org. And now we're going to click on the download openoffice.org link. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to use the 32-bit uh, uh, Debian file right here, the DEB. It, you may want to use the 64-bit. I'm going to use the 32-bit. depends on your operating system that you have. And I'll scroll down and pick my language, which is English. And you'll be prompted to either open the file with ARC or go ahead and save it. I'm going to choose to save the file. And I'll go ahead and save it here to my desktop. And hit save. After the package installs, you'll notice that it is a zipped up file, so I'm going to need to extract this file. So I'm going to go ahead and close this now, and I'll close the browser as well. And you can see the package is sitting here on the desktop. I'm going to open up the terminal to perform some commands. The first command, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just run the ls command, and you'll see that the file package is there. We're going to have to un, un or extract the file. So I'm going to run the tar command, and then we're going to go ahead and type in the uh, dash and then x, z, and f are going to be our options for this tar command and then we're going to go ahead and I'll start by typing the capital O and hit the tab key and it will fill in the rest for me and then go ahead and hit enter and it's going to extract this file for us and so now you'll notice on the desktop I've got the extracted file so this package I no longer need I'm going to right click on it and re remove it or uh, just go ahead and move to trash and this is the file that I want to work with. So if I do an ls command here in my root or on my um, prompt here for the root user, you can see that the files there. I'm going to need to navigate inside of that folder. So I'm going to type in cd space. And I'll type in a capital O and just hit tab to fill in the rest. And go ahead and hit enter. Run the ls command to see what I've got inside of this. But you've got your uh, Debian file, your, your, your actual packages here. And I'll just go ahead and double click in this to see this and so there's that's the exact same thing we've got right there I'm gonna go ahead and navigate inside of that folder so I'll do CD capital D I'll hit the tab key to hit enter to finish and so now what I'm gonna want to do is inside of here are all my packages so I'm gonna want to install those so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the DPKG this is gonna be for the uh, Debian packages here uh, dash I for the install and then we're going to actually type the asterisk which is my wildcard for every file dot deb and hit enter and once we've got the, all those packages installed there's one more folder I need to go in so I'm going to type in cd and uh, I'm going to type in a small d and hit tab and you'll see there's a folder called desktop integration we're going to go ahead and hit enter and we're going to do the exact same command we did before which is the deep pkg uh, command with the dash i and then the asterisk uh, for the debian go ahead and hit enter now that we've got this installed as well we're going to do one more thing and it's going to go ahead and type in the command uh, to open up our, our and edit our uh, k menu or kde menu so we're going to go ahead and type in k menu edit hit enter and our kde menu editor comes up Go ahead and click on utilities. I'm going to go ahead and click on this new, or I can choose file, new item. And we're going to go ahead now and type in just open office. And I'll just put three. Hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and type in the command the forward slash opt forward slash open office dot org and then the number three forward slash program forward slash s office and I'll go ahead and hit enter on that one and then I'm going to go ahead and choose an icon I'll click on that button there scroll down to open office and I'll choose an icon for open office as well I'm going to go ahead and 
file save and we can now do file quit so then I'll go to the start, my start menu go to utilities there's open office 3 and now we'll begin the installation of OpenOffice. So this concludes the video of installing OpenOffice 3.3 in Backtrack 4 Release 2.